we are about to start uh, inventory and this is part one of three parts we've broken down to smaller parts there for you <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started first of all inventory is a physical asset that is available to be used or sold or, or traded and you probably when you go in the stores you'll see a lot of inventory the stores have that they sell business app inventories and so inventory is an asset that has value attached to it <clears throat> so for example a business may have say for example here a tractor with a front end loader and an uh, implement <clears throat> where's one and then a value is placed upon it twenty thousand dollars so it will be on this equipment inventory for this business and be listed as twenty thousand dollars of value now the reason why uh, inventories are used is basically it helps to understand the financial condition of the business and understand that businesses have money tied up in inventory well where does that money come up at well it comes up in inventory at values assigned and therefore uh, you can determine how much a business is that's tied up with inventory so you can look at a business uh, either strong or, or weak by the type of inventory that it has now the purpose of this unit basically is to understand the importance of inventories in the financial records of a business. A business could be inventory poor or, or inventory rich. <clears throat> well, you know, and it almost could be uh, when, when you deal with anything, it's almost like an unknown treasure. Uh, people who buy businesses look for those kind of unknown treasures that understand maybe people did, don't take care of their inventory uh, very well, don't keep their records up very good. And that's why sometimes you can buy a business, people go in there and buy business, something called corporate raiders, come in and buy, sell off all the inventory, repackage the place, sell it again. And so sometimes inventories, people don't realize how the important inventory is. So an inventory is like a snapshot in time. Well, what it is, is if, for example, if you would empty your uh, pockets out on the table, we could do it a, a, a sample of what inventory is. Basically, inventory is a, a record. Uh, you record the date, you know, the time of the activity, and you put all the you put all those things down on the, on the tabletop, and you just take an inventory. You assign a value to what's in your pocket, and you can put a a, a value on it. And now you know what you have or, um, that you carry with you. <clears throat> that snapshot in time. So, in this exercise, you know, for example, uh, we could say that we had a pack of gum that's worth 99 cents, you know, uh, and then the list goes on here, uh, two, two Lincolns at $10, one Jackson $20 a pot, uh, <clears throat> pack of matches, 10 cents, keys to the books, wagon rabbit, 17000 and a Buddy Bell baseball card. Well, you know, all these things are, are, are what we would call inventory. And then say that we would take something away. At another time, and then it will then will be called a current inventory. Any time that you take an inventory, any time you set moves or adjustment is made, you become a current inventory. <coughs> again, the inventory is a snapshot of time. So, again, you take away uh, during the course of time, things can be taken away, and then that would be your current inventory. A bank may ask you, What is your current inventory? And depending on when you do your inventory, you may take it right away to find out what the current inventory is. Uh, a cartoon I like to show is, you know, in there, <clears throat> there's inventory, ha, ha, uh, this cat has his birds in the tree there, and he, and he has a date on there. And if you look at his inventory, he has a date April 1st, it has 16 birds up in that nest, and he values about a dollar a unit, or a dollar a bird. This is totally uh, his total uh, uh, inventory. Uh, value of his inventory is $16. And that's another look at how inventory is. It's what you have available to you that ha assets that has value to it. <coughs> you add up all the, the you know, just like the squirrel here, he adds up, he adds up all those, he adds up all those um, items, his nuts there, and uh, he has his inventory for the winter. You list your inventories, most places will list your inventories and assign a value to it. It could be a market value or a blue book value or whatever value where you can get it from. But then that, that helps you to determine the type of inventory, inventory you have and the cost 
and it's kind of like an unforeseen, but if you had to sell off inventory, how much you could get for it. So you use your inventories are important because you use it for like owner's equity statements. You know, what you had on that date. Uh, you can look at income statements. Income statements, even though you deal with cash, money coming in and money going out, you still have assets that's worth money uh, to obtain credit. Banks will want collateral and a lot of time businesses will use their inventory as collateral. And so banks know that they can sell off that inventory if they if you feel make good on your debt. Uh, insurance companies uh, base your premium on your inventory a lot of times. And also, by most insurance companies will mandate you have an inventory and, and how make sure you update it every so many days. And that will help in case there's a damage or loss happen. And then that will help for paying of settlement when that time is due if it, if it happens. It's also good for estate planning. Estate planning, too, is another point <clears throat> is uh, uh, in case of a death of an owner. Uh, where all his assets are, you know, uh, but the biggest thing is, is when someone passes and he doesn't have a, a good inventory of all the assets he owns, you can take, you will take months or even years to find all the assets that belongs uh, to a partner, to a corporation, or a business, or family. <laughs> and then also the last one is tax management. Inventory is used for tax uh, management. Uh, in business, you use your inventories to help, uh, uh, you know, write off taxes that you may need, and you want to only pay for what you really want to pay your taxes that you really owe. And so, and that's the importance of inventory. In the first part about about inventory. So this is uh, end of part one. Now go ahead and move into part two. We'll talk more about inventory. Thanks.